Hey guys, it's Adam here. Brian. CJ. Yep, we're gonna review another couple beers. As you can see, we got some treats from Treehouse today. Uh, the first one we'll be reviewing is Green, their American IPA, and the second one is Haze, their double IPA. Green is uh, 8%, actually we saw in the bottle, 7.5% ABVs, and un uh, Untapped gives it 90 IBUs, although they don't publish on the website. Uh, it's made with Australian and American hops. Uh, Hayes uh, is 8.2% ABV and Untapped gives it 90 IBUs, but again, that's not published on their website, so uh, take that for what you will. Um, so uh, let's start with the green. Green? The American IPA. Sounds good. It is IPA day today, by the way. Happy IPA day. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Another uh, hazy unfiltered beer wow, for yeah. today. Nice Very hazy. orange, light amber color. Um, not as much head though. No, creamy. It, it had, it had, it had yeah. some head. We, it's dissipated in the pour. So, what do you guys smell? Uh, oh man, gosh. Right off the bat, it's uh, pretty much just like a mango. Yeah. yeah. Tropical. Some kind mm. of fruit. Yeah. Mango, yeah. pineapple, orange. Oh man, that's. Yeah, good. I get mango, pineapple. Definitely tropical fruit. Yeah. Whew, that's gonna be awesome. Cheers. 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 Yeah, I can't wait any longer. Let's yeah. just go ahead. Wow. That's good. That is really good. Not as quite as a big citrus punch as I thought I was going to get. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe some of the malts I'm getting in there. A little bit of brittiness. For being almost nearly 8% alcohol, it you really wouldn't tell it from how smooth it is drinking it. Oh, no, good it's hard point. to tell. Really. That is incredibly smooth. Mild to medium bitterness. I mm -hmm. probably would go on the mild side. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought 90. No, tastes like ninety. Yeah, for it almost being one hundred IBUs, which is ridiculously hoppy, it's mm. you don't really taste much of it. Is that because mm. of more malt? Does the malt hide that or balance it more? You think it could be, or it could be the way they're calculating it, as opposed to actually testing the IBUs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I agree. Smooth, well balanced, very delicious. Sweet, mm -hmm. pineapple, mango, mild bitterness. Gosh, yeah, there's really no nice sweetness. There's no grassy notes in it at all. It's, mm. just, it's almost like fruit juice. Yeah. Mm. That's Nothing lingering on your tongue afterwards. No, I, I definitely, I do have like a, a coat of a, a good little hop mm -hmm. bitterness. Yeah, I get the bitterness. But, uh, okay. Mm. That's really good though. Yeah. All right, as far as ratings, um, it's really good. Um, I'm going to go 4.75 out of 5. I was thinking four seven five. It's uh, after you know trying. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, in case you didn't watch our first video, we've been drinking some trillium. So yeah, is that trying, lowering? <laughs> after trying the trilliums, which are just pale ales, and they had as much you know yeah body as that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this one's for it being an IPA. It, um, I would probably say four point seven five. You mentioned that beer advocates is ninety nine. Is it a ninety nine? I would say that's probably a solid rating, really. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't give it a four hundred. No, no. No. And maybe it's because we've been drinking truly. Who knows? Yeah. But um, yeah, <laughs> done a different day. It may be a five, but it's definitely uh, a phenomenal beer that you should try to get. Um, maybe not trade your first born, born child for it. But <laughs> no, I agree with CJ though. The mouthfeel, the trillium was. A little smoother, mm -hmm. so probably from the the wheat. Yeah. Um, it was it's still a good mouthfeel? Don't get me wrong, but you can tell a difference. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the um, the double IPA, the haze. Mm. Um, less milky, uh, a little more. I mean, it's yeah. still hazy. A little darker. More malt body too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, you'd expect that from a double IPA. Again, just a pitted head, and let's move on to the aroma. Mm -hmm. Almost like a orange juice. Yeah. With that, that citrusy. Uh, yeah, I smell orange. Get a little, I get a little grapefruit. Much mango. Like a, get a little mm -hmm. more grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. A little more bitter fruits. Um, lemon. Yeah, I get yeah. lemon. I don't get much grassy though. Mm -hmm. Cheers. 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 Hmm. I get a little grassy flavor from that, do you? Yeah. Um, Again, it's not jumping out at me. Um, 
I don't know where the 8.2% is. It's as smooth as yeah. the green. Yeah. Not much bitterness at all. I don't know where the 90 IBUs are. Hmm. It's good bitterness. Uh, I mean, you can tell it's there. It's just not, yeah. I mean, you'd expect more from something that was 90. It's kind of sweet, a little, mm -hmm. little subtle mango, but it's not as sour, or not as bitter as I thought it would have been from the aroma. Hmm. But again, I mean, it's smooth and tastes good, but. It, it kind of reminds me, of, you know those uh, lemon candies? Yeah. It's kind of what it tastes like. Uh, you get that little bit of bitterness yeah. that goes through your tongue, but you, you also get those, those sugars and sweetness. sweetness. I agree. Yeah. I definitely get sweet. that. But overall, I mean, another good beer as well. Um, what would you rate it? Uh, I'm kind of between four, five, four, seven, five. Um, I, so a little lower than. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would say this is probably about a 4.25 or 4.5. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go 4.5. Yeah, I was going 4.5. So 4.25 for you, CJ. I think it's 4.5. 4.5. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Which you know, 4.5 mm. is a definitely go out try this beer again. Don't don't trade away your cellar for it or anything. Um, but definitely a good beer you need to try. Am I the only one that got the grassy note on the flavor? I I just, yeah, it's I just there. Wonder it's if, there. If that's part of the hops, or if they left it on the dry hops a little too long, or if they were going for that. I mean, they yeah, it's it. definitely there. Just that the, sweetness, it, it just ends with that sweetness for me. Yeah, um, I like the sweet finish. I love the lacing on the head. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a full body beer. Yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't drink like it's overpowering. No. No. Well, really good beer, and I think we're going to sit here and enjoy these. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as always, remember, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. See you. See you.